Patreon, okay? Whoa. Um, hello, everyone. It's a little bright in here, so I have to wear my shades. But um, how's it going today? Almighty Tevin here, yeah, if you didn't already know. And uh, it's that time of the week again, as I always like to say. But we uh, talk about our good friend, Dog Surfer Phil. Last week was a little bit, uh, little bit active. And for the first time in months, I'm saying it's not much to talk about. And it might actually not be much to talk about. I only really got one pre-stream here to play, and it's just him shilling shit. And then I got another little clip to show, which is kind of entertaining, but you might already saw it. And uh, then we got the actual weekend preview, which is pretty all right. So uh, thanks, DSP, for not talking about something annoying. I mean, I could pretty much summarize the week as far as pre-streams. Uh, he talked about Dark Souls a lot. He complained about uh, StarCraft. StarCraft. What is the name of that game? Star Fox. He complained about Star Fox. Uh, and that's pretty much it. And he talked about what he was gonna, what he's gonna do during the week. During the week, like every day is kind of like a weekend preview, because on Tuesday he'll talk about what he's gonna do for the rest of the week, and then on Wednesday he's gonna talk about what he's gonna do in the rest of the, for the rest of the week. It's really weird when you uh notice it, and uh like shilling shit. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty all right, and uh yeah. For some reason I wanted to play this though. It's pretty. It's pretty entertaining to hear him talk about it and to hear him shilling shit sometimes. I feel bad for like his mods. His mods might not even listen to the stream, to be honest. They might just look at the chat. But you never know. I feel bad for the people that li that listen to this every day. And I'm saying that, but I listen to this bullshit. So it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay. People ask all the time, does he accept donations or whatever? No, technically no, but people ask all you can the time. Check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darkside fail. On my Patreon. For your monthly pledges, you will receive perks, such as getting text or verbal thank yous in my videos, getting your questions answered on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, which, as I've already mentioned, is happening this coming Thursday. You can also go ahead and uh, get a private Q&A video made for yourself. You can get premium forum access on the King of Hate. $50 for a cam girl video, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. This is interesting, though. He said he was going to play this game again Sunday night, and it's almost 1 a.m. in the morning for me, and I don't see it. But he was supposed to go back and try to beat Star Fox. I don't know if he didn't upload it yet, or if he changed his mind, because I don't really pay attention to his Twitter. But, uh, mm -hmm. I guess I have to check after I'm done doing this, which is great for this video, right? But I really don't care, to be honest. Which is why I'm not um, playing the pre-streams where you talk about Dark Souls 3 stuff. Because I don't really care about Dark Souls 3. I ain't even beat Dark Souls 1 yet. So, yeah. But, this. This Star Fox content is great. Just great. Pretty much... He spent this whole video and maybe the whole video before this trying to fight the boss. The title is uh, Prepare for Rage, all caps. Final boss, archaic BS for the win. Psy Nintendo, you know, because Nintendo developed the game and not, uh, I think Platinum Games developed this. More like Prepare for the Dislikes. I think Platinum Games developed this, though. Let me, uh, you know, I'm actually field trip that. We got time, you know. It's going to field trip. Imagine if Mario Kart 8 had the same gimmicky controls as Star Fox Zero from Falls Magazine. Do they not like the game? 3.5 on Metacritic. Youch. Uh, designer Miyamoto, developers Platinum Games, Nintendo Entertainment Analysis, Analysis and Development, Nintendo Entertainment Planning and Development. So basically, Platinum Games made it. This game might not be that good. I guess. It's kind of short too. Like, let's, like, full playthroughs of it are, like, four and a half hours long. Is the game really that short? I don't know. I guess so. That's kind of yucky. Yeah, Star Fox gameplay full playthrough the final ball, 60 FPS live, live stream. Four hours and 16 minutes long. 
from whoever Massive G is. He's probably popular. And I have a question for the Star Fox fans out there. I know somebody can answer this. Is Star Fox just this? Flying a little ship around and shooting that stuff? Because if so, doesn't that make it Panzer Dragoon? Except with different characters? But Panzer Dragoon came off the Star Fox. I know that, but isn't it kind of the same thing then? Or is it something else I'm missing? Oh, I, I never played Star Fox. And I remember when the GameCube games came out, you wasn't flying around in the ship shooting that stuff. I think. I'm very, very confused by what this game is. I should have did research, but I don't know. I'm stupid. Um, all right, let's 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 listen to this. Let's, 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 let's. Fuck this. I gotta get health, dude. There is none. Oh, there's one right there. And no! Rip. Well, I give up. That's it. Fuck this. I'm done. I'm not replaying the whole stage. Fuck this. Nope. Done. I'm not replaying the whole stage from the beginning. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Fuck this game. Nope. Fuck you. Fuck you, Nintendo. And I mean that sincerely. You've made a game with terrible controls, with archaic game mechanics like no checkpoints unless you have extra lives. Uh, I'm not doing your whole stage from the beginning. Fuck you. Seriously. Fuck you, Nintendo. And I mean that sincerely. This game is a ripoff. This game is not anywhere near a completed game. No one who actually likes video games tested this fucking game. The controls are fucking hot garbage. There's no way you could actually dodge half that shit. It's just spamming of bullshit. It's terrible. Fuck this game. He was really, really fucking mad. But the thing I question this with. He played... Okay, let me go back. Because this is 20 minutes. Um, that's 20 minutes, let's see, video before that was 25 minutes, so at, at best, well at worst I guess I should say, he spent 40 minutes on his boss, and he got that mad and said fuck the game and quit it for the day. This is the same dude that spends hours to beat certain parts of Dark Souls 3 though, like it's, it's, it's like a, it's a sequence of videos that might be almost two hours long combined with him trying to be one boss. Maybe, I think maybe almost three hours combined him trying to be one boss. He's spending almost whole streams to be one boss in Dark Souls. But he, it, it, it takes him 40 minutes to be the boss in Star Fox. Fuck it. Just so happens that also uh, Dark Souls 3 is the game that gets a lot of views, at least compared to Star Fox, because these Star Fox videos have garbage views. Like, a thousand views after two days? I could do that on a gameplay video. That's bad. 1,500 views, 1,200 views, 1,100 views, 800 views. But then, of course, the Extreme Rage one got almost got more than 4,000 views. You can't see everything on the screen, so you got to take my word. But they got almost, they got more than 4,000 views. So, uh, yeah. Of course, he will put more time into the game that gets more form uh, money-wise because views equal money. But still, holy shit, dude. He, he really couldn't try a couple more times? Uh, I don't know. And then when he played Nintendo games, he said, I don't know why people don't show up to see me play Nintendo games. But then when he gets a chance to play a Nintendo game, he treats it like this. But, uh, he, I think for pre-stream April 24th, he said he was going to play the game again Sunday night. And, uh, he, he don't have a video of it. So I guess I'm going to go to his Twitter and see if I can find something. Uh, checking on, uh, Incognito. Anyone know? Gears of War, blah, blah, blah. Monday, Dark Souls. Tuesday. Did he fucking give up? He tweeting about Loot Crate. Like, I think he changed his mind. 
sale alert every single soap at Leanna's business is on okay I might as well capture this then I'm uh yeah I might as well I'm sitting here too long <laughs> I'm sitting there too long sell alert every single soap at Leanna's business is on sale for 24 hours great time to try some out speaking of soap uh what do you call what 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 term does he use I'm kind of rambling a little bit what term does he use uh fuck I can't think of it is it selfless no damn it I get I put myself on a spot and I can't come up with the stupid word he like to use. Something plug. But if you guys want to try some nice soap, some legit soap, not some bullshit ass body wash, not some bullshit ass, you know, some Dollar Tree soap or some shit. Something that can't even be classified as soap. Something you you feel all funny after you take a bath. You you're wondering what's going on, you're saying to yourself, Oh man, maybe maybe I need to buy a new body wash. Maybe my soap is maybe I need to buy a new soap. This is where you need to get soap. You need to get you some soap from the Black Current. They can be found at etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the Black Current. I've recently done a review on the Black Current soap, and uh, it's on my YouTube channel. And I gave it amazing reviews. Some of the best soap I've ever tried. And uh, you guys should definitely try it out. It comes in a nice package, just like this. Has a little name on it, the Black Current, and all of that. Comes with some nice business cards. So you guys make sure to go to etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash shop forward slash the black current. You see this picture, you see this girl, and you see all these nice, nice soap choices. And you can even get you some wax tarts for your wax tart melting pleasure. www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm playing Mirror's Edge. He changed his mind. Yeah, he did. Huh? Yeah, right here, say, yes, I've changed my mind about the schedule. So is he just not going to play Star Fox? Is that game dead? I guess it's dead. Hopefully I'm wrong. I know it really doesn't matter, but it's pretty cool. Like, and I'll say I'll be the hardest Dark Souls game without grinding. Dark Souls 3 is the hardest game now, apparently. He going by opinions that people had on the internet when the game first released. But, mm-hmm. So I guess he beat the game, but he didn't beat this one boss? Yeah, he beat the game. In DSP being stupid, truly epic Dark Souls 3 stream. Not only did I beat the game, I did it without the Dark Sword. Can't wait to hear how trolls spin that one. I'm not talking about this really because I don't, like I said, I don't give a fuck about Dark Souls stuff. Especially Dark Souls 3 stuff because I'm not going to play that game for a very long time. But, um, he said, and let me find a pre-stream. So if you want to even, if you want to listen to it. Because I don't feel like going through it to find it. It's going to take too much time. It was... This pre-stream, oh shit, it's not on the screen, my bad, it's called, I'll put it up on the screen, it's pre-stream, oh, okay. Jesus Christ, it's pre-stream April 20th, 2016, new weapon time in Dark Souls 3, he actually went out, went out of his way to get that sword, and then he found another sword and changed his mind. He even said in this video that he was going to try to get that sword and level it up. And he talked about how, how overpowered it was, how it shouldn't be in the game. And then right after that, he was like, so I might get the sword. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to find it. A it's too reactions good. video. Ugh. You may not believe this. We did so well. No. Now, I want to leave it open because I like the flexibility of having... Ha yeah. So I don't know. It could, it could be the conclusion. It might not be at all. Yeah. I know that a lot of times when I do these longer ongoing playthroughs, people, uh, I fought them. I got to the end of a great sword with every hit, so they're pretty fucked. This part of it, I'm not going back to the beginning. Pretty, uh, no, uh, pretty s silly and stupid. Pretty silly and stupid. But anyway, I digress. I digress. So I might want to check this sword out. Now I'm not gonna say that. I that gotta go I back. Get a good weapon in a Dark Souls game. It doesn't mean that you're gonna be you're gonna beat the game easily, but. It sure does go a long way when you're in a tough boss fight like some of the ones that I've been doing, right? 
If I were dealing three to four times as much fucking damage, those boss Radiation. fights would have been over after three or four attempts. If you actually remember, now the boss that I've had the most problem with was, uh, well, Commander, uh, or excuse me, Champion Gundir, right? If you remember the first fucking time I fought him, I got to the end of the fight. He, he only had like a quarter health left, and that's when I died. If I had had this sword, I would have fucking beat him on like the second try. Instead of wasting two and a half hours on this fucking asshole. See right there, he confirms. He wasted two and a half hours. It probably was more than that. More than two hours on one boss in Dark Souls 3. But he can't even spend more than 40 minutes on the last boss in Star Fox. <clears throat> so there you go. Ridiculous. And it is sad that unfortunately they put this fucking weapon in the game like that. I think that they obviously... You should be paying it. They should be paying attention to what the fuck they're doing. Why would you make a quick sword that has the the, the properties of a fucking great sword, including damage output? Makes no sense. Really dumb. But it is what it is. More than likely, they're gonna end up patching the sword and make it shit, or they're just gonna patch it out of the fucking game. That this sword reminds me of Dick Lightning. It's sad that he didn't use it. Then we could have uh, something to compare. That's it usually to. what From Software does when they Remember find out Dick these things. Dick Lightning and Dark Souls. And by the way, if you don't believe me, all you gotta do is check the internet. It's all over. There's articles about it on fucking websites. There's and the, the Dark Souls Three wiki. Everyone's like, it was hilarious. One of the comments for this sword on the Dark Souls Three wiki is, every time I go PvP, nine out of ten people I fight have this fucking sword. They just spam the fucking light attack non-stop because you can do it like 8 to 10 times in a row without running out of stamina. And it does the, the damage of a greatsword with every hit. So, you're pretty fucked. Pretty, uh, no, uh, pretty silly and stupid. Pretty silly and stupid. But anyway, I digress. So, I might want to check this sword out. Now, I'm not <laughs> going to say that I'm going to definitely use this sword. It shouldn't be in a game. It's overpowered. So, I might want to check it out. Uh, and then, the, see, that's the thing with DSP. That's These are the type of games he play. He says it's overpowered. He says it shouldn't be in a the game. Then he says you might check it out. He goes out of his way on stream to get the sword. I think he did, at least. I, I didn't watch the fucking stream. But I'm going by what he said before the stream that he said he was going to do it. But he go out of his way to get the sword for the stream. For the, for, for the game. And then when he beat the game without using the sword, he go into the, oh, I beat the game without using the sword. Oh, I can't wait to see how the trolls spin this one. But you was ready to use it. <sighs> Maybe he changed his mind at the last minute. Maybe he, uh, I, I don't know. I really don't care that much. But it's obvious he was willing to use it. And then because he didn't use it, now he got to say, Oh, I didn't use it, you guys. What are you going to say now? Uh, uh, he's so corny sometimes. So corny, but um, only 17 minutes in. This might be a an actual short video, right? Of course, we have a time in the video where we check out the comments of the weekend preview. Uh, comments was kind of lit, low key. I couldn't even get everything because what I do, I usually uh go to it as early as I can go to it, and then just let it sit, and then I refresh before I start to see what's still out. And um I did that this time. And this is pretty much what I got. So uh let's go from the top to the bottom. Has he considered making these videos bi weekly? Maybe do a Wednesday update or something? Don't have to wait a week between Tevin vids, of course. Oh hi Tevin and Guinea Pig Cam. I meant to say no guinea pig cam today. I was uh cleaning the cage out. So they're not even in the room with me, they in another room. So uh yeah. No getting a big camera day, which is very, very disappointing for some people, I'm sure. Um, don't waste your time playing the Gears 4 beta. If you're going to complain about the graphics slash good players, it's an early alpha build. It's not like the graphics are going to get better. And before somebody defends it. I watched somebody play the Gears 4 beta too. It looked like garbage. Um, somebody going to be mad because I said that. Huh? Uh, play against the bots first and learn the game. He's not going to do that. And then go into TDM, blah, 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 blah. Good luck, soldier. Uh, Phil gets at least a couple hundred views from guys trying to get Tevin's attention. Somebody replied, and they already were shadow banned. Uh, <laughs> Tevin is just some dumb, dumb black dude. And uh, this dude, that's because you have that idiot in his posse. Posse. I have a posse, apparently. I don't have a posse. Watching these videos just to bash on him, kind of sad. I'm not watching these videos to bash on him. I'm watching these videos to start a conversation about him. What's wrong with talking about my 
good friend dog side fell. Uh, silly ass guinea pigs, green straw, this soap sucks, these hashtags. I didn't see this comment until just now. Yo, Tiffin, we need to bring back the water for Jose movement. He still needs his water. Yo, I remember that. I remember that. That was one of my old videos. Holy shit. That's a really old, super niche reference. Yeah, please stream Dark Souls 3. And if you be here early, maybe you can get your rage out for the end of Star Fox Zero. Two rage field bosses in one stream. He's not going to do that. DSP never. Maybe he did it once because somebody's going to have that one case when he did it. But I don't remember any streams where DSP finished the game early and then um, played another game the same stream. Somebody asking for horror games. You pay up. Play Kill Instinct Season 3. <laughs> no. Is he Maximilian? I feel like Phil hasn't showered in months. Uh, you already know what it is. Tevin dropping fire in the streets. I love this comment. Fuck that nigger. Yes, he got to use the hard R too, like uh, LTG would say. So, so, so angry. Such angry individuals. Give me money. Hashtag DSP. And uh, this is after I refreshed about 30 minutes later. And as you see, none of the comments are here. Oddly enough, the one saying he feel like he hasn't showered in months is still out. That comment is still out. But the other one's not. Really weird. Let's refresh again. Do 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 Gears 4 beta is terrible. I'm still looking forward for single player and co-op. Somebody talking about Dane Gan ramping. He's not gonna play that. Um This comment is still here. He deleted the Tevin comments and didn't delete the one that say he didn't shower in months. Mind blown. Two small episode episodic episode games, I guess I mean episodic, and a DLC character on one day. I don't think I have enough time to play everything this week. Really feel? Yeah. Two episodic games, that's two streams. That's maybe six hours combined at most. Probably four hours or five. And one DLC character, which is Gal. You don't think you have not enough time to play everything. Does anyone know where the ending music is from? It's, uh, I think it's music machinima give them. Would you be interested in playing Jack 3? Harry Lord, is that you? Did you make a, Did you make an alt account, Harry Lord, trying to make it seem like more than one person want him to play Jack 3? Yeah, it's Harry Lord. I know, I know what's going on. You review Dark Souls... Oh, review it on Thursday. Because you really have to. And what about Ratchet and Clank? He didn't beat that game yet. Really? Ratchet and Clank's stupid PS4 thumbnail. He did beat the game. I guess I mean a review. He might not review it because he might not care enough about it, which would be really stupid. I feel like if you review games, you should review everything you play because uh, people might not care about it now, but it's a fucking review. People are going to come to it years down the line. That's like, you know, that's not instant views. That's views you might get six months from now, but he don't think in the long term. He think in the short term. Dark Souls 3 review 7 out of 10, especially with the performance issues. I hope not. Oh, we got a Hello Tevin. That's still here. I guess DSP deleted the first wave of comments and then said, fuck it. Stream chat plays Dark Souls 3. This is how you don't play inbound. Shout out to that's okay, Tevin. Frey Huya, Dipshit Field, Dark Side Francis, and every other mofo out there making this is how you don't play videos. And casting a fun light on the King of Gout. This message will be flagged in 3, 2, 1. It's actually not. DSP went in it, went in and deleted the first wave of shit, I guess. And then he kind of just said, fuck it. Guinea pigs for the win, yo, Tevin. Yeah, that's what happened. Because I just refreshed and they are uh, still here. I like this comment too. I'd applaud a session of Persona 3 this week. Before the playthrough, Utterly dies. But a vlog covering the grass growing one fourth of an inch would take precedence over at this point. Yet yeah, Phil speaks of Final Fantasy 9. He really talked about Final Fantasy 9. My green screen kind of off a little bit. Oh well. Oh yeah, I'm like, like the edge of me flickering. It's really awkward and, and distracting now. I might try to fix it. But um, fine. He could have played Final Fantasy Nine for the last seven years. It's on PS3 and 
No, it's not on PS4. But it's on PS3. And you might be able to play PS1 games on the PS4 now. He could have been played that. And I don't even, I don't like how it look on PC. I don't like when they polish the graphics up like that and put borders on the edge of the screen, but I digress. It's become impossible to get invested in his JRPG playthrough since they're constantly at the mercy of a view all. Yep. He should heed his own words from As the King episode 57, i.e. that JRPGs do not fit with the new business model of his channel. Yep. And simply stop doing them. Otherwise, people will be asking for Star Ocean in June. Destined for disappointment and a truant cough playthrough. That's little better than an intro sampler. That is a good comment. Let me uh, confirm that some of these are still here. Yeah, they still here. Oh boy. Wait. Now I think my green screen just looked like that because uh, the background so bright. Okay, we're good. It's still sports. Hello, everyone. Ah, I jumped the gun. I think I switched the uh, scenes too quickly there. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome. We got both. We got the jump scare and we got the hello everyone. This is great. This is great. I gotta see it again. Ah! I jumped the gun. I think I switched the uh, scenes too quickly there. <laughs> hello hello everyone, everyone and welcome to the weekend preview. Today is Sunday, April 24th, 2016. Oh, Welcome, because uh, this mm -hmm. is a crazy week coming up. I know I say that a lot. Um, and the past few months have been pretty hectic with multiple new releases pretty much constantly. Um, this month in particular, April, I'll be honest with everyone, I think it was stacking up to look like it was going to be a crazy, busy, crazy, exciting month. And it wasn't as exciting as it had lived up to be, simply because Rip. some of the releases, like Quantum Break, like Star Oh Fox yeah, I Zero, forgot about that game. They have not lived up to expectations and certainly have not lived up to the hype that's built up about these games over the years. We've heard about them being in development and all of that, right? Oh, but, uh, by the way, he waited 20 years for a Star Fox game because the GameCube doesn't exist. The constant good thing that's been going on this month so far has been Dark Souls 3. But sadly, I'm pretty much at the end of that that gameplay, that playthrough. Okay? R.I.P. Consistent um, this views. This past week, if you haven't been following along, I finished the main story and the final boss fight and all of that in Dark Souls 3. Wait, 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 wait. Now that I think about it, when Dark Souls 3 is done, what else does he have to play? These little episodic games, that's like a whole day of gameplay, or whatever he liked to call it, and both of those episodic games are done. Uh, Guile and Street Fighter, that's probably one stream, maybe two. Nothing else. Finish Star Fox. Ugh, you need to play Persona 3. In fact, I did everything <laughs> he has nothing in else Dark to play. Souls 3, except for two things. Number one, optional NPC quest lines. There are these characters in the How do you do everything except for two things? Two things is far away from everything. Game that you could find all around. You could at least say everything except for one thing. A lot of them are at Firelink Shrine, your main hub in the game. And if you talk to them, apparently you can unlock quests that you could do for them. And some of them you could do them even after you've already technically beaten the game. Um, I'll be honest, am I super interested in them? Not really, because at this point I've done everything in the game. So anything that I do with them isn't going to tie into all the events going on in, in the world of Dark Souls. I've already killed the bosses and everything, right? Um, the only other thing I haven't done is gone back to the secret area of the game and killed the super secret boss. He is the hardest boss in the game. People are actually saying he's one of the hardest bosses in all of the Dark Souls series. He is not the hardest, but he is close to it. Um, and I do want to take one shot at it. I did fight him a couple times. It was less than an hour I fought him. The last time I fought him, at that point, I wasn't well equipped. I didn't even have the best, uh, like, uh, the best layout and everything for what I was doing yet. I didn't have several levels into me where I was stronger or anything like that. Um... And now I do. Now I have better Estus Flash, more <laughs> Estus Flash, more powerful strength and dexterity where I know I'm going to deal more damage with my weapons. So I'm kind of like, I want to give one more shot at this guy, all right? But all right. outside of that, Dark Souls 3 is completed. And I had a lot of fun over the past month playing the game. As you know, I played it a lot earlier than most other people, but I took my time playing it. And because of that, I think the playthrough ended up being better than it would have been if I was trying to rush through it in a week or two. And just stumbling through it and failing, failing, failing and sucking. I did a lot. But he did stumble through it and fail. Better. And if you don't know. He did a lot better. But he died more in Dark Souls 3 than any other Souls game he played. 
but he did a lot better. I didn't grind. I didn't grind. He didn't grind because he couldn't grind. See what I mean? Just like when I was talking about the sword thing, he didn't use the sword even though he wanted to at first. And then he tried to flip it and make it seem like, oh, I didn't use it because I, I didn't want to. He's saying he didn't grind, but he didn't grind because he couldn't. If he would have got Dark Souls 4 on, um, oh, Dark Souls 4, that's a while from now, hopefully. But if he would have got Dark Souls 3 on PS4, he would have grinded. Guarantee it. Just like he grinded in Bloodborne, and just like he grinded in all the other Souls games before he moved in with his girlfriend. The only reason why he didn't grind in Dark Souls 3 was because he can't play Xbox One games on a portable system. He would have to sit in his office and play it, and he don't want to do that. And he's not about to do a grinding stream, so he didn't grind. But he couldn't grind, and he's trying to flip it and make it seem like he didn't, like he chose not to grind. Ah. So lame. I didn't have anyone summoned to help me. I beat the whole game with- He didn't have summons to help him. Could he have even summoned? Because he was playing on a weird version of the copy of the game he bought off the Japanese Xbox Live. I don't think he could have summoned. But I didn't summon. Oh, man. You probably couldn't have, even if you wanted to. By myself in a one-shot playthrough, not grinding off camera or anything like people have complained about in previous years. No and then yet again- you gotta you gotta think about the word and I know I'm going way too deep in this. It's don't it's not really that important. But you gotta think about the word in here. He said he beat it legitimately. He didn't summon, he didn't grind. But he summoned and grinded in every other playthrough he did in every other Souls games. But he claimed those were legitimate. He never said his blood on playthrough wasn't illegit. Well illegitimate. But now apparently it is because him not grinding makes this playthrough legitimate. So then if you do grind and make your playthrough illegitimate, right? None of that. It in is fact, what it is. I had this overpowered weapon at the end of the game and I said I don't even want to beat the game with that weapon and I used a secondary weapon as the weapon that I used to beat the game. So he got the weapon and he chose to not use it just so he could go and brag about not using it to win pretty much so i really do feel kind of accomplished am i saying i'm good at the game no but i'm happy that i was able to go through it and experience it the way that most people do because most people are going to grind repetitively off camera like i've been doing previously in these games okay uh, so, i think that's a lot i think dark a lot of people grind in dark souls close. i'm going to explain in a moment how that fits into this week's schedule this especially uh is going to more be more average skill what i mean by that, that if i'm just thinking at the top of my head I believe there's going to be eight different things going on this week. I'm not even kidding you, all right? Uh. So I want to jump into that, but before we get to that, I just want to make it abundantly clear we have less than a week left in the month, which means there's less than a week left to pledge to my Patreon over here, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. If you pledge $5 or more this month and we hit the funding level, there's going to be an, an Indies Marathon, the first Fail trip. Let me see how his Patreon is doing. Is he at the goal already? He had he he passed the goal already. He got thirteen hundred fourteen a month. So uh, why are you telling us we got less than a week left? God damn it, DSP. One of 2016, where you're going to be able to nominate and then vote on what indie games you want to see me play at the end of May. So pledge, pledge, pledge. You've got less than a week left. I'll let everyone know starting next week how it looks if we hit the goal level. I hope we do. The thing is, I don't want to wait till the last minute because that's what I did last month. And then, unfortunately, we almost didn't hit the goal, but luckily we did it last minute. Take a sip. I will be telling you <laughs> what's going on with this month's goal at the end of the, the, the schedule because it's the end of this week that this is going to be action. Okay? All right. So what can you expect this coming week? Well, oh boy. first of all, I just filmed my Loot Crate unboxing video for April. I just got the Loot Crate yesterday in the mail, and I filmed the unboxing, but being that I'm uploading the weekend preview tonight, I'm going to save it what for tomorrow. What about Star Fox? So tomorrow, what about this guy Five? Right here, you will see my April Loot Crate unboxing, Parasite including Eve? the best item I've ever Persona received 3? from Loot Crate. It's freaking what about awesome, Tales so of, don't miss this Tales of Zillia 2? If you have not watched them in the past, you're going to want to check what this out. What about all those RPGs you never beat? Mind, you'll get it once you see the video. Okay. Um, 
tomorrow, gameplay wise. Well, variety, here we go. Variety. First off, my gameplay stream starting at noon Pacific time will be the Gears of War 4 beta. Yuck. It's launching tomorrow on the Xbox One. I'm very excited to get my hands on the multiplayer because I like the multiplayer of Gears of War. Do Had a lot really? of fun with it in Gears 3 and looking forward to doing some of it in Gears 4. So I'm, I'm all full speed ahead for a, a fun three hour, three hour plus stream tomorrow of Gears of War 4 beta Ooh, gameplay. Three hours of it? Join me for that, okay? Tomorrow night, this is it, it's the last hurrah for Dark Souls 3. Tomorrow night, let me repeat that. Tomorrow night, Monday night, April 25th, 2016, is the last oh night God. I'm playing Dark Souls 3. Is it a stream? At least until DLC is released later oh, in the video year, which undoubtedly I'm sure they're going to, okay? Why? Because like I said, there's nothing left to do besides really kill this secret boss. So tomorrow night, if there's enough interest, I want to see if there's interest, I will stream... For two hours, my attempts at trying to kill this boss. If I kill him quick, that's it. That's the end of the stream. Victory, hooray. But I get the feeling I'm not going to kill him that quickly. It's going to take me quite some time to learn his boss pattern and try to beat this guy. So that's going to be Monday night. Try now, to beat this guy. I don't know if there's going to be enough interest. I don't. I, I don't know if people want to see me just fight the same boss for two hours. That could end up being boring. That was people. childish. So I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm going to I'm gonna be doing it no matter what, but I'm on the fence if I should stream it or not. So let me know. Wait, wait. People might be bored of watching you try to beat one boss for a stream. You mean a thing that's already happened before? Via Twitter, via, you know, any kind of, you know, email, email, comments on this video. What do you think? Should I stream that or not? I might not. I might just... There's no comments about this, by the way. To YouTube afterwards. So that's it. Monday night, officially the last hurrah for Dark Souls 3. No, it's one Tuesday. dude, I think, that's saying something the air, about Let it. me explain why. There's three things that could potentially all be releasing on Tuesday. And let me explain how, what they are. You've got Hitman Episode yeah, 2. So the next episode of this game that I played at first in early March, right? And people really seem to like when I did the different scenarios, different ways to run through uh, the the episode there because it was the intro episodes and then the episode one. Since it's only one episode this time, what I think I may do is take my time and try to beat it multiple ways. You know, can I do it one way? Then, oh, let me re go back and try it a different way to try to <laughs> unlock different scenarios and that stuff. That sounds exciting. Two, all right? So that comes out Tuesday. In addition, the Walking Dead Michonne episode Phone three was a real the hitman three game, and not some episodic that bullshit. Been playing over the past several months also concludes this Tuesday, so I'm interested in playing that. But at the same time, supposedly, this is what Capcom has said: Guile, the next DLC character for Street Fighter Five, Capcom say it and lie. This week. If he releases, you'd think he's going to release on Tuesday because that's the day that Alex released last month. It was a Tuesday, so I'm kind of like, Going okay, well. If Guile releases, that may be what I'm doing on Tuesday. If he doesn't release, then maybe I'll be doing Hitman and The Walking Dead, and vice versa. If he doesn't really, you know, if he does release and I do that on Tuesday, then Hitman and The Walking Dead will be Wednesday. All right. So that's kind of what you can expect. You can expect Guile and Street Fighter, Hitman and The Walking Dead on Tuesday and Wednesday. I can't tell you what order yet until we know when they actually release. Okay. Thursday, big thing. I'm, I really hope that you're listening and paying attention. Ask the King is oh, on God. Thursday. It's the first Q&A show I've done in two months. I'm only doing it every other month now. I despise Ask the King. And I need more Ask questions because I haven't mentioned this for, for so much. Over, over a month now that there was going to be an Ask the King coming up. I need you to post up questions on thekingofhate.com right now. Check the description. Do it of the right video. now. Right get there. out of the you video. Click, Leave the video. The do it right post now. Post up your questions. The more questions I get for the show, the better it gets. And this also goes for patrons. If you were a patron in the month of March... Uh, excuse me, February <laughs> or March, and I owe you a, a, a question that I'm supposed to answer for you in this upcoming Are Ask the questions? King thread exists. It's all already on thekingofhate.com, yeah, okay. but you need to post in that thread Thank ASAP you. so that those questions are in place for the show come Thursday, all right? Just a reminder, every, every the show question. is not hey, live Phil. streamed, but I do record it in multiple parts, and it is uploaded right here to the King of Hate blog, <laughs> hey, and that will be my first half of Thursday. Take a sip. Hey, Phil. Thursday night, what I would Why do you like pull to your do beanie down so low, Phil? is review Dark Souls 3. Long I would like to now, after I've played through the entire game, and then taking a shot at this secret boss at the end on tomorrow night, Thursday night, I'd like to sit down and get all my thoughts together and review Dark Souls 3. And let me tell you, I absolutely loved the game. <laughs> you drink too much percent, water. I think it's, it's probably, a lot of people say, yeah. oh, they think the you Dark drink Souls too much water during the these best videos. One, right? I think that out of the out of the original trilogy, I think Dark people Souls people need to 3 post paragraph long comments on his videos complaining about him smacking his Dark Souls one. 
I did terrible because I didn't understand the game mechanics. <laughs> I hadn't played Demon's Souls beforehand. So really, for me, there was no frame of reference, and it's hard for me now to say, oh, that game was better when I really didn't play it properly, okay? I can definitively tell you Dark Souls 3 is way better than Dark Souls 2, in my opinion. You didn't play that so, properly that either, said, though. Um... I'm really going to think you're going to like the review. At the same time, I have to be very critical about the version of the well, game. Well, no, that no, I... no. Let me correct myself. He didn't play it properly according to himself because he said his Dark Souls 3 playthrough was legit because he didn't summon and because he didn't grind. He did both in his Dark Souls 2 playthrough. So how can you say Dark Souls 3 is better than Dark Souls 2, but you can't say it's better than uh, the other ones because you didn't play those legit? Based on your own word and dog souls 2 wouldn't have been legit either play because that version had some fucked up stuff going on that i have to bring up in the fucking review and it's unacceptable shit that is not acceptable in a day a day this day and age 2016 it's just not it's from okay. software they get away so, with everything the review for dark souls 3 will be released thursday night on ko gaming i have to emphasize this because people keep forgetting one all my reviews and edited content go live on ko gaming that you can one. find at youtube.com forward slash ko gaming one there you go that's how you get to it okay that will be going live thursday i know people want to hear my oh, review i was getting scared that's i thought he was gonna forget the one fine all right I was Friday, a little worried. I was go. about to go to the wrong channel. Friday, yes, finally. The goal reward for the month of March on Patreon is happening this Friday, and it's official. Day is Friday. As of right now, I checked the numbers. Overwhelmingly, everyone voted to see okay, me play 29. World of Warcraft. So that's what's going to happen. I'm going to be playing World of Warcraft this coming Friday. Seven hour long World of Warcraft stream on a Friday. DSP, just do it Saturday, please. You can't do a stream like that on a Friday. I don't know. I'm saying that I did a freaking 24 hour stream on a Thursday. Friday. Now, what I need to do is I need some time this week to find time. I don't know when I'm going to do it <laughs> to try to buy the, the base game. However much, some people say it costs 10, some people say it costs 20. I don't know. I have to buy this base World of Warcraft game, install it to my PC. I have to find graphical settings, okay? That are. He has to take, he has to mention taking time out of his day someday during the week to install World of Warcraft and get it to work. Really? Really? It take that much focus and effort to do that? Going Apparently to work so. that I can both stream, stream and record at the same time and it doesn't make everything look choppy as shit. It's going to probably take some tweaking. So I may need to maybe do like a demo quick test stream sometime oh my this God. week. One night where randomly out of nowhere you might see a stream go live where I'm testing to see the quality. He can't just record it locally. And look at it. He has to do a stream and, and rely on people to tell him how it looks. Of to course. See if dipped or whatever. Jeez, I get the feeling I'm not going to be able to play the game on highest settings. I'm probably going to have to play it on like lower, low, lower. It's World of Warcraft. With a middle Update your computer. You know, I'm not going to be doing above 1080p. I'm probably going to have to even maybe do 720p. I don't know. Take a sip. Didn't you leave Twitch to not but fucking stream at 720? I'm looking forward to a World of Warcraft Falling. marathon coming up this Friday. Were you? In the stream chat, we'll be able to give I'm you I'm not in the chat. Like, oh, make this class, this race, this build, you know, go to this area. This is a good place to grind for early levels and do what the quests and do bullshit. this and do that. Uh, I'm going to do my best to try to avoid trolling, but it's unavoidable. Let's face it. It's unavoidable because people will be stream sniping. They'll be watching the stream. Man, I got to go get on Phil's stream because I have no fucking life. And I really just want to ruin his stream by dancing around in the background the entire fucking time that he plays. I know people are going to find out what server I'm on and all that shit. It's inevitable. What? But... I think it'll still be a fun stream for the day. Put up with the trolling or whatever and try to run around legitimately getting levels and doing stuff. And it could be pretty fun. Mm -hmm. um, being that I played World of Warcraft 10 plus years ago, it'll be very interesting to see what's happened with this game in the time in between. Okay? So, and before he notices that's going to be nothing. all day Friday. <laughs> you may have noticed something. I haven't mentioned whatsoever any mention of Star Fox Zero this week so far. And that's intentional. R.I.P. It's because I am so fucking disappointed with the game that I really didn't feel like playing it all week. I don't. I still have, like, no inkling to play the game. I do want to go back, and I want to officially beat the final boss, and I want to unlock some of the optional content and try it out, but I was so disappointed with this fucking game on Friday when I played it that I just... The like, views were low, too. Anything so there you go. ...than play this game again. I waited 20 fucking years to play Star Fox Zero. What about the GameCube the game? game is such a massive disappointment to me. How did he wait 20 years to play Star Fox Zero? It was announced 20 years ago. Me being a hardcore I know what Star mean, Fox though. fan. Hardcore fan. Because I think Nintendo never thinks that I just want to put game. on my retro goggles, right? And say, well, it's retro, so it's good. It's not. 
It's 2016. It's not 1990 fucking 6 anymore. And basically, Nintendo made a game that should have been released in 1996 with game mechanics from 1996. And like motion controls? Gyroscopic motion controls that don't <laughs> fucking work. Motion controls are around in 96? The goddamn game. We know because they were other systems? versions of Star Fox without gyroscopic controls that were much better than this fucking game. So. I am going to play it again. When? Well, probably this weekend. Probably, probably Saturday this or Sunday weekend. of this weekend. One of those streams will be dedicated to playing Star Fox Zero. I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything. We but go. I'm definitely going to try to at least beat the final boss and at least get unlock some of the secret content and try it out. I'm not secret I'm going to get so content. Far in this game, but I'm going to be honest. I really feel like I wasted 60 bucks. I feel like I bought a game that's so fucking inferior to anything that you would play today that there was no reason for me to even buy this game. And I'm so pissed off that I waited 20 years for this game. Um, but that's Nintendo's mentality this day and age, right? We can do no wrong. We'll keep making the same fucking game for 20 years ago, and you're still going to like it. Sorry, Nintendo. But Some Nintendo didn't develop it 100%, though. Anymore. I'm one of them. Um, mm. So, so, there will be more Star Fox Zero at some point this coming weekend. Okay? Now, next month hmm. is kind of weird. Why are we talking right? about We've next month? We've got some things going on that are going to be very oh, interesting. No, oh, no, I hate this part of these of May, videos. There's really not that much going on besides the Overwatch beta. Actually, the other game coming out the first week of May is Battleborn. But I played the hmm. beta, and everyone told me it was boring and not to buy the game. So I, I guess I'm not going to buy it. If you Everyone told me it was boring and not to buy it, so I guess I'm not going to buy it. But he plays games for fun, and it's his hobby. But the viewer's opinion matter way more than his, because he didn't even say if he liked it or not. The viewers told me it was boring and not to buy it, so I won't, because I'm a slave to the viewers. Except for when I don't listen to them. <laughs> People found that the beta gameplay incredibly boring, then I'm probably not going to buy it. I will be playing the Overwatch beta that first week of May, but that's certainly not going to be enough to, to, to carry an entire week. So what I can tell you is this. Those of you who've been craving for the return of Persona 3, right? Oh my god, Phil hasn't played Persona 3 in two weeks. When's it coming back? I'm really loving that playthrough. It's more than likely coming more back in likely. early May, because it looks like there's not going to be much to balance out with everything else. And before, like, Street Fighter 7 or some shit come out, and he can't play Persona okay. 3. Another sip. One thing I want to clear uh. up, because some people have been asking me this. They said, Phil, Uncharted 4 comes out the second week of May. Will you replay Uncharted 3? Because that's what no. you, did, you did. Excuse me. Will you replay Uncharted 2 is what I no. meant to say. Because that was one of the first Uncharted that you ever played on YouTube. And you have the HD collection. Before he answer, this is going to be a bad idea if he does it. I don't know if he's going to play it or not. I don't know what he says here. But remember when Just Cause 3 was coming out. And somebody sent him a free copy of Just Cause 2. And he played Just Cause 2 a little bit, didn't finish it. Just Cause 3 came out, he played that a little bit, didn't finish it, and complained and said it was too much like Just Cause 2. So you, do you really think it would be a good idea for him to replay uh, Uncharted before Uncharted 4 come out? Because I'm pretty sure Uncharted 4 is going to be very similar to 1, 2, and 3. You're going to be a dude running around, watching cutscenes, and shooting that stuff. I don't think him playing that would be a good idea. And my answer to that, quite honestly, is probably no. Okay, good. I don't good. think that there's going to be much interest to be playing Uncharted 2 right before Uncharted 4. In fact, it might... He got the HD collection for the Uncharted games for free, by the way. Never played them. I create burnout because people will be tired of seeing the Uncharted-style gameplay. If this had been a couple months ago and there was nothing going on, maybe that would have been a great time to do it, but we're too close, I think, to the release of Uncharted 4, so unfortunately that Uncharted... HD he had months to play last it. Last year... I'm probably not going to play it at this point. <laughs> he had months Just to play being it. Honest with everyone, He'd been okay? dangling in front of people um, forever. So, you're probably going to see uh, things like the Overwatch beta, Persona 3, maybe me going back and doing a session of something like Street Fighter 5 or something like that if I want to or get a chance to. What about um, Pokken? And then you're going to see, obviously, Pokken, Uncharted 4 whatever it is. the second week of May, and I get the feeling those games are going to have enough content to take me probably through the whole third week of the month, which, by the way, the only real major release the third week of May is Homefront. The new home front. Why are we talking about the third week of May? We still in the we in like the third week of March. Well, I guess the fourth week now. If you pretend we, if you pretend I'm doing this on Monday, what the f what? Which I am interested in checking out, and I think I will because I liked the first one. I know this one isn't supposed to be anything like the first one, but I'm curious to see what they've done with this one. Um, and the only other release that was going to come out in May was Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but if you don't know, it's delayed. They delayed it again. They now delayed Mirror's Edge Catalyst to June 7th. So really weird for it really, to delayed a May month. looked like it was going to be an insanely that packed month for stuff, and it looks like there may be almost nothing 
going on in May outside of Uncharted 4, Doom, and the Overwatch beta, there's really not that much else to talk about. Now, I'm hoping maybe something does come up. Right? Maybe other things. This always <laughs> I'm happens. hoping some will come up so I don't have to play for Persona example, 3. Supposedly, the major story based DLC for Fallout 4 may be releasing in May. What's it called? Uh, Far Harbor or something like that? Great. If that comes out, I really want to play it. I, you know, I honestly, I didn't necessarily love or hate the first DLC for Fallout 4. I just thought it was kind of <sighs> meh. I didn't even play the last one last month because all it was, it was doing uh, stuff on your workbench to make, like, neon signs and shit, and I don't care about that, you know? I want to play a story, a narrative. That's what I like about Fallout 4. So hopefully, this Fallout Far 4 Harbor does story. come out in May, and it ends up being really good. Maybe there'll be another DLC character for Street Fighter V. Who knows? That would be good. But I don't know how, what to promise you guys and gals for May, because I don't know. I don't know what's realistically going to be Why are we talking about month, May? And that's a problem, right? Oh, my um, God, DSP. If anyone has ideas of so stuff that maybe I should do in May... That could be a good downtime thing if there is ended up being a lot of downtime in May. Please feel free to share these ideas with me. Because maybe there's... Th play well, Persona 3 takes mm, maybe about 70 hours, 80 hours to beat at the minimum. So uh, that's a lot of downtime. So you can play Persona 3. On the back burner that I just you can finish Parasite Eve. Which I haven't done. A lot of people have said this to me, and I don't know if anyone would be interested. Oh especially because I'm still doing Persona 3. But some people have said, Phil, why don't you do Final <laughs> Fantasy IX? Because it was just released on PC. What a fucking Apparently moron it really nice to request PC. that. It nice. And that's the one Final Fantasy game you said you never played. They're right. I never played it. I played a few hours of it and never got any further than that. So I know really nothing about it. Um, and it will be a good lead-in for Final Fantasy XV later this year. Right? Um, I mean, fair enough. How is Final Fantasy IX a good lead-in to Final Fantasy XV? Because it's Final Fantasy? Enough, that, that does sound good, but I'm already playing Persona 3, so now I'm juggling two JRPGs. That doesn't work. We know that historically I've tried doing that. doesn't fucking work, so I don't know. Take a sip. Oh, <gasps> God. Again, Fuck feel it. free. Damn it. That's Send me your ideas. At they call me DSP. It's like the second Twitter, time this week I'm not freaking nail polish over. Leave comments on this video. What do you think I should do in May? Fam. If it turns out the, the month ends this up being pretty fuck. empty and there's more stuff, I, I need more stuff to do. Please give me your ideas. All Completely right. fucked. At least I didn't get on my hands That's and stuff. It. This week's gonna be so busy. Let's just to huh? recap. In summary, this week coming up. All right. We busy. Got Tell me. Gears of War Four Beta. My mm -hmm. run at the secret boss of Dark Souls Three plus Loot Crate unboxing all on Monday. Tuesday is either gonna be Hitman Episode Two and The Walking Dead Me Sean Episode Three or Guile in Street Fighter Five. Wednesday will be the flip side of what I didn't do on Tuesday. Thursday is gonna be the Return of Asta King and my review of Dark Souls Three. Friday is gonna be the World of Warcraft Marathon. Either Saturday or Sunday is probably going to be my final Star Fox uh, Zero gameplay. And then kind of Sunday, Monday, eh, we'll see. Maybe I'll do some more Street Fighter V if I like Guile, or maybe that'll be an opportunity to do something that I didn't get a chance to do. Like uh, so zombies. busy, you I'm guys. Sure by then my so busy. My friends did this zombie map this past week. You know, I did co-op in Call of Duty, and I'm sure maybe by then they'll have figured out the Easter egg of how to beat it. Maybe I'll do another session with them, even though... Didn't catch on views-wise, I love to co up with those guys. So I don't care that people don't watch. I fucking want to do it anyway, and I'm going to do it. So maybe I'll do another session with them. I don't know what I'm going to do uh, for those couple of days till the Overwatch beta releases, but I will I have try a feeling he won't to do it. entertaining for you. I want to say thank you for your ongoing support. It's appreciated. Six days left for Patreon, so please pledge, pledge, pledge if you haven't so we can hit that goal and we can do a fun indie marathon at the end of May. Thank you. You fucking worthless April, humans. Let's hope this last week for the views. Let's April go out with a bang, right? Sounds good. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll uh, see you later this week. Tons of new stuff. Without further ado, for the final time, nope. um, time special hmm. thanks to the following people who pledged to my Patreon in the month of March and made this World of Warcraft. Okay, I'm not letting that play because I'm the video is gonna get content ID. I go through this every week when I say that, and I've been avoiding it every week, so that was the key. The key is cocoa butter. But um, hopefully, I'm, I should should have said this in the beginning, but hopefully you're having a good day. Or you had a good day or something like that. I do not even have a hashtag for this video. I am a professional. I'm going to read the comments and come up with one. Uh, no, 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 no. What could the hashtag be? Hmm. Hashtag senpai. Fuck it. That could be the hashtag. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. Hashtag senpai. Very lazy hashtag from me today. Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking about it. But, um, 
Make sure to keep your grass cut because them snakes be snaking. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, people. Um, show what I like, like, like the video. Give the video a thumbs up. You watched it this far, you might as well. But I am out. And I hope I recorded this right. Guess I'll see.